Lil' Kim is in the crosshairs of the LAPD, which is a bad place to be. Her crew allegedly robbed a woman over a BET party house, according to DMZ. Now, law enforcement has told TMZ that Kim rented a house for a BET weekend party, but apparently the house was not to her liking. And at around 2 a.m. on Sunday, Kim and her friends went to check out the house, didn't like it, and so she demanded her money back from either the property owner or the manager. The money wasn't forthcoming, so an argument erupted and the police were called. But when the police arrived, they told them it was a civil matter and it was nothing they could do, so they left. Then around 4 a.m., about two hours later, a group of people showed up at the house with ski masks and weapons and got what they were after, which was Kim's deposit check and cash, totaling at least $20,000. Now, the police say that the robbers weren't done. They also slashed all of the victim's tires and stole a hubcap. Now, I can see Kim wanting her money back and her maybe sending someone to get her deposit check back. But as far as $20,000 and one hubcap, that just sounds a little extra to me. Lil' Kim and Havoc, one half of Mob Deep, are still going to pay tribute to Prodigy on tonight's BET Awards. But according to TMZ, it's not going to be a huge tribute. It's just going to be them giving their personal words and paying their respects to the Mob Deep rapper. The BET Awards executives tried to put together a large tribute performance after Prodigy's death last Tuesday, but it was too late because artists had already signed contracts to perform at the awards and BET didn't want to change their sets. Rest in peace to Prodigy. I haven't mentioned on my channel that he did pass away on Tuesday and I just want to say rest in peace to him.